everyone, it's Mari Clark for Honey Bee Stamps. I have this adorable little uh, card process to share with you today as part of the April release and fifth anniversary for Honey Bee Stamps. The team is so excited and we're so excited at Honey Bee to bring you some fun and amazing products, including this really sweet Far Out Friends stamp and die set. This is a huge set that includes these two really cute little astronauts, a spaceship and some little space creatures, some planets and the moon and all sorts of really fun images. You can also purchase the Honeycut dies, a full set of dies for this uh, stamp set as well. And I also am going to be using today this really adorable rocket ship card base, which I think is totally unique and very, very cool. So you're going to see how I'm going to be using that today, this die set for my car my card and my project. So those are the main products that I'm going to be using. I am actually going to be using another sentiment set and you'll see that later on in the video. So here you can see that I've cut the two spaceships from some 110 pound Nina solar white cardstock. This is my card base and I cut two of those because one is going to be the front and one's going to be the back. I'm scoring the nose of the ship uh, with my scoreboard here to create a spot where the front of the card can fold. And I actually just went ahead and scored the other side of it too, just to make sure that um, the two pieces fit together and work properly. You probably wouldn't have to score both pieces, but I just went ahead and did that and it was fine. It, it works well um, scoring both. So you could do it either way, one or both. And I'm just kind of eyeballing here to make sure that I get the nose of the ship scored in exactly the same spot on the front and back of the card. And this will just take me a few more seconds here and I'll have those pieces all ready to go. Now I am going to be using some really, really strong double-sided adhesive. I'm going to put that on one side of the nose just above the score line and I'm going to use that really really strong double-sided adhesive to keep these two pieces together as my card base. So you'll just see there I've torn off a piece of the double-sided adhesive. I'll just take that release paper off and stick those two pieces together. Now I'm going to use the other dies that are part of the ship card base die set as embellishments or to cut pieces to embellish my rocket ship. So I'm going to be using some metallic cardstock from Ranger in red and blue and I'm also going to be using some black cardstock from Ranger as well. I'm going to just run those pieces through my die cutting machine and there you can see I have that piece for the nose of my ship, the two little red parts at the bottom for where the rocket ship, I guess the base of the ship, and then the circles for the center of the ship. I guess that's where the astronaut enters and exits the ship. And so I'm going to just go ahead and use some Nouveau Deluxe adhesive here to glue these pieces on. I'll just use my tweezers to help me get these places, these pieces placed back onto my spaceship where I want them. I have scored the nose of that uh, ship in the metallic paper as well, as well, just basically in the same spot that I scored the ship so that that will fold with the rest of the card when it folds open. Now I'm going to just take these other pieces and use my liquid adhesive to glue those down. I'm going to use the lines on my grid mat to help me kind of like eyeball where the center of my ship is. You could also, if you needed to, if you were concerned about getting it absolutely perfectly in the center, just measure that with your ruler and mark it with a pencil. I'm going to use some dimensional foam adhesive to pop up the blue metallic piece that's going in the center of that red circle just to give it a little bit more dimension on the front of my card. And then I'm just going to go ahead and glue down all of the rest of those pieces that are embellishments or accents for my little spaceship. And I just love how this looks. I think it's totally adorable. And I think this stamp there, this um, die, these honey cuts are just genius. And they pair, this pairs beautifully with the Far Out Friends stamp and die set as well. So just gonna get that uh, last little red piece glued down. I will also glue the base of the uh, ship as well, that black piece 
get that all glued down and I will be ready to add the rest of my card bits to my card. Just getting that liquid adhesive on there. I really like this adhesive. I like the applicator. The, the tip of it is really nice and skinny and great for applying uh, glue to smaller areas. And I also really like working with my tweezers for adding these uh, smaller pieces onto a uh, card. Now I'm going to take my MISTI and I'm going to use my MISTI stamping tool to stamp out the images for my card. I'm going to stamp out the little boy astronaut and one of the little uh, space creatures. And I'm going to do some Copic coloring. So I want to use my Memento Tuxedo Black ink, which is a Copic friendly ink to stamp out my images here. I stamp them out a few times to make sure that they are nice and solid. And when I'm all finished with that, I'm ready to go ahead and do some really, really simple Copic coloring. If you want to watch basic Copic coloring, make sure you watch me because <laughs> that is what you will get. I am going to use an R24 to do some red coloring on my astronaut's suit. I'm just going to use the red to color a few of the different stripes on the suit and I'm going to do a little bit of shading with some R46 and it's just some really really simple shading. I'm just going to go into the edges of those different red areas, the outer edge, and then I'll just go back with the R24 and blend out that R46 and it's as simple as that. So that's all I'm going to do for those red areas on my little astronaut. I'm just going to go ahead and finish blending that out and I'll be ready to go on to coloring some of the other areas. So this coloring does not take long with the Copic markers. Um, a lot of the suit I just left white, but I wanted to kind of add a little bit of dimension to the white areas by adding a little bit of gray. So I'm going to use my C0 and my C3 to add a little bit of dimension to the gray areas where I want the suit to actually be white. And you'll just see me going in and doing a really simple blend and uh, coloring in those areas with those two markers. I will use uh, the C3 and C5 for the little pack on the back of my astronaut in a minute. But I'm also going to color in the little buttons on the front of his suit with um, those that red again the R24 and I'm also going to be using some blues here I'll be using the uh, B23 and B24 in the blue areas on my card and I'm also using a yellow and the yellow is Y15 if you can't see the caps hopefully just me telling you what those colors are will help you out a little bit um, I'm using E55 and E57 for the hair just a really really simple blend and for my little guy's face, I used E50 and E51. Just gonna finish that really simple blend here. I'm just leaving a little bit of the lighter color at the very top, assuming that maybe perhaps it's a little bit brighter on the top of his head. And now I'm just gonna use a little bit of B0000 to color in where the little globe around his um, that headpiece there, which I guess is glass or whatever it would be made out of, um, some sort of space material. Uh, I just thought it would sort of look glass-like. And then I'm, I'm going to go ahead and color in the C5. I think it's C3 and C5 for the little pack. Now I'm going to color my little alien here with a couple of YGs. I'm going to use YG23 and YG25. I think my YG25 actually leaks here at some point, but if that ever happens to you, one way that you can prevent that if you've got a really juicy marker is just take the opposite and the lid off the opposite end and it will prevent it from leaking out in that way. So when that happened, I just went ahead in with my Y24 and blended that out and it was fine. Now I'm going to give this little guy some blue stripes on his legs just to make him look a little more interesting and fun and just did some really really simple blending and shading with my little space critter. Now I'm going to take some purple tape and the dies for these two bits and I'm going to die cut those out. I'm also going to use that happy birthday to you or HB2U sentiment and that is actually from the gear up sentiment set 
And that is another one of the sets for this release. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and stamp out that happy birthday to you with some VersaFine Onyx Black ink. And then this is the die for that sentiment as well. I love that there's a die for this. I cut that out and now I'm going to use that for the front of my card for my sentiment. I'm, I've popped that up on a little bit of foam adhesive and I'm also going to pop up my little astronaut on some foam adhesive as well here. Just use my tweezers just to show you here. I'm going to place him uh, where he's going to be. And then what I did with my earth stamp is I stamped that out and I colored it and it's going to look like it's a balloon and that my little um, astronaut is holding the earth as a balloon. I just thought that was kind of cute. And there's a lot of, there's some really cool things you could do with this stamp set, right? Because there's so many stamps in this set. It's huge. It's massive. And so I'm just going to use the little um, dimensional adhesive there on the back of my little guy again. And what I did was I just cut a tiny little slit in the thumb of his hand, of his suit, to put the string for the balloon there. And I just used my craft knife and just cut, you know, ever so uh, gently, just a little tiny spot for the string of that balloon to go in. And then I also am popping my little planet Earth up on some foam adhesive as well. So the front of the card has some nice dimension. I'm using a little bit of Nouveau glaze to add some dimension to the buttons on the front of his spacesuit. And then I'll also use some uh, uh, Nouveau uh, glimmer uh, shimmer pen to add a little bit of shimmer and shine to my earth and also to some parts of my little um my little astronaut his face area and also some of the stripes on his suit just to make it look a little bit sparkly and shiny I thought that just would be kind of fun and this is definitely a really fun child's birthday card I think kids would really get a kick out of this heck I think a lot of adults would too to be honest and so I really love this stamp set I think it is so sweet and I really had a blast no pun intended making this rocket ship uh, card so I'm just going to finish this up and then I'm going to show you how it looks when it's all done. I just took my little alien and I glued him to the inside of the card as a little finish to the inside and I'm just going to show you here how this um, opens up and then stands as a, a card when it's all finished. So you can just open that, crease that along the score line there, and it just stands perfectly. So if it was to be put on a shelf or something like that, it's perfect. And I love it. And I hope you do too. Please make sure you check out all of the other designers projects at Honeybee Stamps here on YouTube. Thank you so much, everyone. Have an amazing day. And don't forget to check out Honeybee Stamps on other social media platforms as well. Have a great day and I'll see you again. Bye-bye.